uh, you know, why they had to like take the CSL, talking about community development, to Emoton College, mm -hmm. you know, on Wednesday. That was their free day and, and all that. You know, because of the support she's been able to receive from the Edo State government, and that actually enabled her to want to thank them and also look at what we'll be expecting. More entertainment are definitely going to come up on Friday. So if you are in Benin, you can just go there, stroll yeah. in, get to be thrown open from 11. AM, that's what she said, and of course, after that, you have more entertainment before the games will start. Let's listen to her now. Time we are going to play simultaneously to decide who joins um, Nasarawa Amazons for, for the final. Uh, the Nasarawa Amazons versus Delta Queens will still be put inside the, the Samuel Media uh, Stadium while the uh, um, Biosa Queens Rivers Angels will have to be played at the School of um, uh, School of Health uh, ground. So you can see that um, uh, we are not leaving anything to chance. We want to be sure that um, there are no hanky panky. We want to be sure that there are no negotiations. We want to be sure that um, uh, teams are not talking to one another. Uh, we want to put every all the club, you know, all the clubs at the blind side of one another, so that we can really have. Um, uh, two quality teams uh, from the quality that we have so far being in the final on Friday. Uh, Edo Queens, you know, they are the hosting club now. They didn't make the Super Four. We also want to give them the privilege and the opportunity to enjoy this two Super Four atmosphere on the pitch, just to know what it is like to play in the Super Four, in the Super League, so that next season they will work harder. We are going to be playing an exhibition match between uh, Edo Queens and Robo FC. We will also be mixing entertainment, music, and, and football on the day. We have um, a couple of Edo uh, State um, women uh, musicians who will be coming to show their support and identify and partner uh, with women's football on the day. Edo State has been wonderful in terms of the facilities they provided, uh, in terms of um, the commitment to the, um, to the ideal of wanting to you know, rejuvenate uh, women's football. Uh, the only way we thought we could show appreciation and also impact on the community was to go out on the rest day with the, with the girls. So uh, a school, uh, a motor secondary school to be precise in Benin, uh, to do a community work, is what you call a CSR. CSR by way of mentoring. Uh, we tag the CSR fusion, that is football uh, plus uh, education, uh, playing it right. You cannot miss it. Once you have football with education, you are only destined for the top. We wanted the girls to know that education is very important. If you want to play the sport, education will take you far. But if you are half big, you, you will stop before you start. Uh, we wanted to, to let them know that with education, you will be strong. With education, you will see you know, far more opportunities in the sport. You cannot, you, you, know, you cannot be limited to wanting to play. There are several areas where you can engage, where you can make career out of uh, playing the game. Uh, you have hospitality, you have administration, uh, you have um, tourism, uh, you have managerial position. And I, I, we're very pleased that um, the girls were truly engaged. Uh, welcome back. Just listen to uh, Aisha Falode um, telling us about the developments and how all things will go down in the NWPL uh, Super, Super 4, four. Uh, the day three, and of course the uh, final. All right, so let's um, quickly introduce to you um, another person that joins us um, right here on the show to, um, you know, join in the discussion of um, what we've been talking about. Uh, Ifai uh, Enegide joins us now, and uh, we will be talking about um, what's going on in on, on the domestic scene. Now, let me welcome you to the show. Yeah, good to be on the show. All right, so before we talk about any other thing, let me just take your reaction quickly. Heartland, um, gaining promotion, uh, did it come to you as a surprise, or it was something that was always going to happen? Uh, well, since the beginning of the season, it was something that was going to happen because they've been doing very, very well. I expected them to have qualified even earlier on, mm. but still, it's not a surprise to me. I expected them to come back. I think they are good enough to play in the NPFL. All right, let me allow you to look into your crystal ball. 